Nothing will stand in our way. I will finish what you started. There are stories about what happened. It's true. All of it. It's the most anticipated movie in years, Star Wars The Force Awakens, but director J.J. Abrams' fresh look at the nearly 40-year-old franchise is just one of the more than 40 new releases hitting theaters in the last few weeks of the year. Here with a preview of that and some of the other movies coming up is Matt Singer, managing editor and film critic for the movie website ScreenCrush.com. Matt, good morning. Good morning, guys. How? I mean, I, I'm nervous for Star Wars. There's just so much hype. Do you think it will... There is a lot of hype. This is the Death Star of the holiday movie season. Yeah. It is as big as a planet, and it is going to <laughs> obliterate everything that gets in its People way. People swooning over the trailer. Let me tell you something about, you know, hype and expectations. I remember being very excited for a movie called Star Wars The Phantom Menace, and we all remember how that turned out. Yeah. You know, that said, you know, I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm really hopeful. J.J. Abrams is a, is a good director, and, you know, he made a bunch of Star Trek movies, and everyone said about his Star Trek movies, boy, they feel like Star Wars movies. They have a lot of action, yeah. a lot of battle scenes. So maybe that's going to pay off here. He's already had sort of a dry run at it. You know, it's funny, though. For Disney's done a great job. Like, we've heard there might be cameos, but we just don't know that much about the plot, it feels. Like. Yeah, they've done a good job kind of keeping it under wraps and sort of focusing things on these new characters, you know, played by Daisy Ridley, played by John Boyega. We don't really know how much we're going to see of Han Solo, of, of Luke Skywalker. I think they have done a nice job of preserving the mystery, but, you know, I, I don't want to be spoiled. I want to go in not knowing, so that's, that's great for me, but we'll right. see. Let's look at a couple of other movies that have opened this week. First up is Creed, which is yet another sequel in the Rocky franchise. The seventh Rocky film. But he's not fighting, right? He's he not fighting, yeah, yes. Okay. We should make that clear. He's now basically playing the Mickey character. He is the older trainer right. to this young underdog boxer who's played there by Michael B. Jordan. He's actually like the son of Apollo Creed, who is Rocky's old rival. And I've seen this movie. It is great. It is, it's the old Rocky formula, but with enough new twists that you get the kind of the, the satisfaction of an old Rocky movie without feeling like you're just seeing a rehash. Good, because when I saw the preview for this, I had like a slight eye roll. I was like, really? <laughs> really? But that's so great to hear that it, you felt like it delivered. It's really good. And honestly, it wouldn't shock me if Sylvester Stallone maybe gets a, an Oscar nomination wow. here. I feel like it would be a great story. Almost, It's almost like something from a Rocky movie, that, yeah, that like, kind of a comeback. It, that's the perfect script. The next Thanksgiving offer is the latest animated feature from Pixar called The Good Dinosaur. The Good Dinosaur. I haven't seen this one yet, but I actually saw a, a presentation of some of the animation from this movie you were seeing there, and that was what really struck me about it. Maybe this might be the most beautiful movie that Pixar has ever made. Just visually a real step forward for them. The leaves, the all of the na natural photography or animation here, just incredible. What didn't feel like a step forward to me were these characters. Uh, the stuff I saw, it felt very kind of by the numbers Pixar. It's the story that's in every Pixar movie. Uh, the buddies that go on a road trip. That's almost every Pixar movie, and that's basically what this is. A dinosaur and his little cave boy friend go on an adventure. The early reviews, that's kind of what they said. It's not a great dinosaur, but it's a, it's a pretty good dinosaur. Whatever. If it's not broke, don't fix it. <laughs> they didn't know what true. they're doing. Pixar, they're very good at what they do. That's a very fair point. And last year's Oscar winner, Eddie Redmayne, he has another new movie coming out. Yesterday, this one came out, The Danish Girl. Yes. Uh, I don't know if he needs to write an acceptance speech yet, but he should probably start looking into tuxedo rentals because I feel like <laughs> the nomination, at the very least, is going to be coming. And with good reason. He is... Again, really fantastic in this movie. A very moving performance from him. Really brings you into the life of this character. I do hope, though, that, you know, while he's almost a sure thing, I hope the Academy also recognizes Alicia Vikander, who plays uh, the wife of this character who undergoes this transition. She really, in a lot of ways, is kind of the heart and soul of the movie. And it's not the showy performance that tends to get attention. So I kind of hope they both get the, the acclaim that they deserve. Next up on your list, Quentin Tarantino. This is called The Hateful Eight, and it's kind of a Western. It is Western. It, to me, it looks like he sort of took Django Unchained and then kind of combined it with Reservoir Dogs because it's these characters, these kind of unsavory types who are all trapped together in this one location, this cabin in the mountains. And uh, actually, two of the original Reservoir Dogs are in the movie, Tim Roth and Michael Mad uh, Madsen, along with Samuel L. Jackson, Kurt Russell, you see there, Jennifer Jason Lee. So another Quentin Tarantino movie. I'm guessing probably a little violent. I don't know, <laughs> just if I had to guess. <laughs> Do you think, speaking of violence, he's made some very controversial statements recently on police brutality. Do you think, I mean, is this, are the studios worried that's going to affect box office? Anytime you sort of uh, come out, boycott a movie, 
you can publicize the movie as much as you publicize your sort of point right. of view. So it actually could perhaps bring it more attention even. Leonardo DiCaprio has a new, I don't know, and one film he has done that I don't like, and this one is called The Revenant, and it sounds like it's an explorer left for dead. That's right, and this is actually the follow-up to Birdman from Alejandro Gonzalez and Yaratu. That was last year's Best Picture winner, and as you can see from the footage, it's sort of similar in its sort of visual dynamism there, but it's, it's, it's got a much bigger scope. So instead of just being in a Broadway theater, this is like the entire Old West with Leonardo DiCaprio wandering around on this mission from uh, Mission of Revenge. The big buzz about it, though, is that there was a lot of problems shooting the movie. It was a difficult set, uh, and that they had trouble finding snow for these snow scenes. Uh, it was a living hell, I believe, was the quote <laughs> I read in The Hollywood Reporter from one crew member. So we'll see how it that turned out. It usually turn out well yeah. when it's living hell. Finally, from director David O. Russell, who gave us American Hustle and Silver Linings Playbook, we have his go-to cast, Jennifer Lawrence, Bradley Cooper, Robert De Niro in Joy. In Joy, yes. And Joy is Jennifer Lawrence's character. She is playing the woman who invented the miracle mop. And it's about her life story. It's a biopic, essentially. Robert De Niro plays her father. Bradley Cooper plays uh, an executive at the Home Shopping network don't really know too much about it beyond that except as you said it's like the David O. Russell players now coming back <laughs> to make another movie with David O. Russell who's made so many good movies in a row yeah. that's what's got to get you excited there Jennifer you know the whole cast uh, that's, did you tell that's us when that one comes out do you know Christmas Christmas okay so we have a joy for, for that Christmas okay. <laughs> all right Matt Singer there's a lot to look forward to thanks so much for being with us